Hey guys, this is D3 with the video, and um, this one is on how to make a Google Chrome theme for Google Chrome. And uh, if you don't have Google Chrome, I rec recommend it because uh, I think it's the fastest browser and uh, most effective. And uh, you can go on YouTube if you want and see a couple videos on how fast it is. I think it's like uh, beats lightning or something. I don't know, but uh, you can check that out. <coughs> but um, first thing you're gonna want to do is open up Google Chrome and right now you can see that we have a pretty standard themed browser it's just plain blue and blue and white but uh, what you're gonna need to do is go to the link in the description and it's gonna be chrometheme.net and it's pretty basic it's got the tabs already made out for you on what you're gonna need to do but uh, we'll start with the first tab the theme name it's gonna be mine's gonna be demon chrome because just, you know, demons. Demon King's my nickname, and I gotta stick with that. <laughs> but, uh, there's a description here. And, uh, I'm not gonna use it right now because this is just a test theme. But, uh, you can put in there whatever you need to list for the description of your theme. And you can publish these, so that's, that's one of the reasons they have descriptions. So, uh, that's the first browser, or the first tab I'm at. Um, now on to the second one. These are your images. And these um, are for your frame, toolbar, your tab background, and um, the background of your browser. And then they have whether your background piece and where it aligns. So we're going to start out with, uh, we'll do toolbar. This is the front tab, and this is uh, this one right here, and then the uh, tab background is going to be your second tab. So we'll start out with the first one, and uh, I've got I've got these made out for me already, but uh, you can just choose images of whatever you want and uh, put them on there, and they'll have the image for for your tab. So we'll do tab background now. I've got one for that too. Frame. This is the area behind the tabs. This is the uh, top section, and. Uh, I'm going to use one of the SIGs that I've made from my last video, or it wasn't in my last video, but it was one of the SIGs that I made using the software that I did from my last video. Uh, that one right there, and uh, onto the background image, I'll use another SIG that I made for my desktop. This one was in my last video, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, this one right here. Just load it up. And yeah, we'll keep it on non repeat. And we are going to center this twice on both. So, uh, once you got everything done here, you're done with the second tab. Move on to the third one. And uh, we got frame overlay, button background, NTP attribution, window control. Window control is your minimize, maximize, and close buttons. Uh, your attribution is going to be the file or the image on your file that you save if you want to save it to chromethemes.net but it's got to be exactly I think it's exactly 125 by 125 pixels so uh, if it's not within there then you can't it'll it won't load your um, your image file which means it won't load the whole thing because it comes with an up with an error so make sure you've got that figured out pretty well or just don't use it either one then you got your button background, which covers the toolbars button. This er or this area right here, whatever toolbars you have up, this will cover it. And then your frame overlay. You don't need this. Uh, I don't use this. It just top left. I mean, there's no point. But uh, <coughs> we're gonna start out with the button background. And uh, I've got, like I said, I've got these made out. So uh, just choose whatever you need and um, I'm not going to use the attribution the control uh, alright so um, once you got everything figured out for your third third tab it's time to move on to your fourth these are colors um, they uh, color whatever areas that they say um, and uh, I changed them 
most of them are pretty uh, pretty straightforward. You know, this is the frame color. I changed it to whatever colors you whatever colors you prefer to have in your um, your theme. So red and black is going to be my main theme colors. And uh, you've got your tab text and tab background text, and these are going to be the two colors that display on this text and this text. And since my front toolbar or my front tab was red, I'm going to keep that black. But the black or the back one was black, so I'm going to change this to red. Yeah, let's make it look better red. Yeah. So uh, bookmark text. I would change this just because it gets a little irritating on seeing that your standard bookmark text is blue, unless you like blue, it's up to you, but uh, I usually got to keep it with my main theme, um, I don't know, just change it up however you want it, <coughs> and make that one red, this one gray or black, and then this one gray or black also. <coughs> those are really only the certain ones that you really need to change all the other ones are just for stuff that you're probably not going to see often but um yeah so you finish with that tab once you got all that done for that tab also you can move on to your fifth tab and uh you can actually skip this tab I haven't used this tab I don't know what it does and uh obviously it says tents for your buttons or whatever but I don't really, I don't really need tints, so um, you can skip this tab and go on to the final tab, which is your pack tab. <coughs> and what this does is either pack and install, pack and download, or download zip file. Pack and install will, um, it'll download it and install it right now. And um, pack and download will download this theme in a CRX theme file, which means um, it'll download it to your computer. So if you want to put it on chrometheme.net, then you can you can use that file that you downloaded to your computer and put it on there. And download zip file. Um, this can be uploaded to the Chrome Web Store, which is like the official store. But uh, the Chrome Web Store has a fee that you need to pay. So I wouldn't do this one at all. I'd either pack and install or pack and download. So uh, I'm gonna pack and download just so I can show y'all how to upload it on the thing also so uh, yeah I'm gonna let this download up uh, that and I'm also going to click pack and install so y'all can see what my theme looks like and this will be the finished product once you click pack and install <coughs> so uh, there it goes it loaded up you can uh, exit this for now. If uh, once you start up a whole new page, or obviously minimize this. Once you start up a whole new page, it'll show you what the changes you've made. As you can tell, it looks pretty nice. If I open up a second browser, it's black and red, and then this one's red and black. And then you got my standard D3 SIG at the top, and. Uh, the uh, desktop background that I had on my last video is is in in here, and uh, it looks pretty cool. So that that's what it will look like with your finished product after you click pack and install. So after that's done, if you want to upload it to Chrome, um, you can do so by going to just erasing this right here and just doing the regular ChromeTheme.net. And um, you have all these themes that other other people have made, but um, you want to go over to share theme, and uh, you can put the, your name or the name of whatever you want it to be called. Demon Chrome, author, Christian McBride, <coughs> theme file. This is where you're going to choose your file. So you're gonna want to click choose file. It'll come up. Uh, I don't have it right here, but I think it's in my downloads. So I'll need to go to documents, downloads, and scroll down. 
here it is. So it's going to be a .crx file. You want to upload that, or choose that file to upload. And uh, a screenshot, like I said, it's got to be, uh, or the last one, like when I said it before, it had to be 125 by 125. But um, it says images must be larger than 450 by 360. So, uh, so just may, uh, find an image that you've got that fits that. But uh, I'm not going to upload a screenshot. And you can go on to your categories or whatever you want to do. I'm going to do uncategorized. You can tag it and describe it. But I'm just going to go on to save. Once you save it to the Chrome theme, uh, .NET store, you can, uh, it'll load up and you, you'll be able to see on new themes uh, what you've made. And actually, I have to make a three theme screenshot, so I'm going to upload something. Hopefully, it'll work. We'll see. Hello. Uh, choose file. That's <laughs> that's what I meant. Sorry, guys. Um, a little pictures. Uh, let's see. One twenty-eight. Four fifty by three sixty. We'll choose this one. And that was exactly the pixels. <coughs> hopefully this will this will um hopefully this will work, and I'm pretty sure it will because it's exactly the same pixels as it needs. But uh, once you've got that once you've got that on and you've got the file uploaded and everything, you're gonna click save. And uh, it's gonna bring you to your your little site where your theme is saved as. And uh, you can uh, exit and come back to it whenever you want. So that means uh, if you want to download Google Chrome at school or something, if you can or whatever, you can go to your uh, go to ChromeTheme.net and uh, upload your own theme that you made. Go to New Themes. It'll be there. There's mine right there, Demon Chrome. Apply theme. Continue, and um, I've already got the theme applied, but uh, installed theme even Chrome. So uh, yeah, that's how to make a Google Chrome theme. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope this video helped. Thanks.